My theory is you should make fun of everybody, right? Because it takes a special kind of sociopath to become a politician. We can agree on that, right? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I grew up in an era where everyone got made fun of and we all laughed. You know, Ross Perot, big fucking ears. You know? Uh, Dan Quayle couldn't spell potato. Dick Cheney fucking shot a guy in the head while hunting. As an active vice president. Our entire government is and will always be a bunch of drunk college kids hopped up on Adderall. That's all it is. You know? Like, everyone, need, everyone needs to unpucker a little bit and just make fun of everybody. Like, I'm sorry, if you didn't think Trump versus Biden was hilarious, you don't know comedy, all right? <laughs> Having to choose between Trump and Biden was like someone giving you a pack of Starburst that only had lemon and orange flavor. <laughs> and you're like, oh, these are the worst flavor. <laughs> Why is this pack of Starburst from the 1940s? <laughs> Can I have a pink Starburst? Well, you could have a pink one, but that's gonna help the orange. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Dude, it's just, yes, idiots, everyone, just laugh at it, you know, like, every election is a joke. I think back to when I was in college, my presidents were Bill Clinton and George Bush, all right? One guy who had a VIP card to Epstein Island, and another guy who probably got lost trying to find it, so. And the conspiracy theorists are too much. I can get on board with some, but the whole lizard person thing is just too much. It's just, you know, you, you know Biden's a lizard. I'm like, no, he's just 80. 80 year old people are very dry. Oh, look at the way his eyes are moving. It's a fucking stigmatism. But then they always say one thing that gets you thinking, like, oh no, man, they're all lizard people. You know every person who runs for president is a lizard person, otherwise, why do you think every debate's sponsored by Geico? You're like, oh shit. <laughs>